It's Sunday, I've got my girl sweatshirt on right now. I look very McDonald's right now. All right, it's day, every time I try to say this, the dog barks. The dog. Are you okay? That sounds like a sad bark. All right, so today, <laughs> can I come hug you? It is day five of 15 days of foundation. This is where I try out a new foundation every single day for 15 days, March 15th to the 29th, days one through four, link down below in season five's playlist. Today we're talking about a brand new foundation by It Cosmetics. This is their Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage moisturizer. Ignore my nails that are already chipping one day later. This foundation retails for $39.50 and you get one fluid ounce of product. Their CC cream actually retails for $38, so this is just a couple dollars more for whatever reason. So they say this is their first ever full coverage moisturizer. It's supposed to help cover and improve the look of skin concerns, including redness, pores, dark spots, breakouts, lines, and wrinkles. It's supposed to float over lines and wrinkles and feel like nothing on your skin but cover everything without creasing or cracking. Ideal for all skin types. So there are only 12 shades here. I have the lightest shade, which is fair. The deepest shade is deep. It says deep skin with neutral undertone. The A Cosmetics CC Cream only has seven shades. So just to give you a little bit of background with A Cosmetics CC Creams in my skin, this one I do not like. This one I find to look way too heavy on my skin and a little bit cakey, the regular CC Cream. The Illumination CC Cream is one of my favorite products. To either wear alone or to mix in with stuff. When I had oily skin, this is definitely a product that you need to set and that didn't last the best on my skin, but something about it makes your skin look very plump and healthy. I like dewy skin. I like that glow. A lot of people find that there's kind of glitter in this one. When I saw that they were coming out with the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer, to me it kind of sounds like this, like a full coverage moisturizer kind of sounds like a full coverage CC cream. You know what I'm saying? The ingredients are very similar in these. I got the shade Fair in this one too. This is actually the shade Light right here because I ran out of Fair. I have to restock. So I'm going to start those swatches right now so you can see how these three shades compared to some of my other foundations. All right, I've got swatches up the arm right now because I'm doing a few days in one here. But here's A Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation in the lightest shade Fair. Next over is the A Cosmetics CC Cream in the lightest shade Fair. There is a little bit of difference in the undertones of these two shades. This is the A Cosmetics CC Illumination Cream in the shade Light because I'm out of the shade Fair. So this is the second up shade in that. Obviously quite a bit darker than the first lightest shade, so there's a big shade jump there. Next over is the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops in N10. Marc Jacobs Remarkable in the lightest shade 10. Cover Effects Power Play Foundation in P20. NARS Radiant Foundation in Mont Blanc. CYO Life Proof in 101. Dermacol 208 in Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. I also have a review on the, can't remember what it was called off the top of my head, but the Bye Bye Foundation, I think it was just the compact one, like the cream foundation. So I'll link that video down below too if you missed that review or you're curious. Link to t-shirts is down below. 100% of the proceeds go to Project B to Share. We're trying to raise $20,000. Also, don't forget to cast your vote one time a day at the link down below for the winning shelter. All right, I have no idea how I have so much energy this morning. It's 7.03 right now. I was up at like six o'clock and literally just popped out of bed, but we're gonna roll with it. I've already washed, moisturized, and prepped my face as I was doing that. I had a little CeraVe disaster. Literally a squirt face wash all down my arm into my hair, like half the bottle. So if you see remnants, black hair problems. So with the CC Illumination Cream, I typically like to use a brush with this. We're still gonna do half face with a brush, half face with a sponge. This looks like almost the same packaging. This one's just like a tiny bit smaller. I actually love the packaging of this because it's easy to travel with. You have this squeeze tube, but you also have a pump, so it's not gonna break or anything. So let's start out with a brush on this side of my face. I was out on the lake yesterday and got a little bit sunburned, but it's looking a lot better today. Yesterday I was like a friggin' tomato. Smells exactly like the other CC creams. Okay, that's looking nice. Okay, I'm gonna drag this over because I just got too much. I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge on my forehead. With a brush on my forehead, it doesn't look bad, but I'm definitely gonna use the sponge and just smooth this out. Doesn't look like total full coverage to me. That is sitting on my skin and dryness and everything. 
really nice. It's a lot dewier than I was expecting. Sponge time. It smells very spa-like. It is pretty scented, if that bothers you. This scent doesn't totally bother me for some reason. It kind of smells just like fresh. And I've never found that It Cosmetics products break me out ever, if anything. The It Cosmetics CC creams, actually, I feel like every time I've worn this for a significant amount of time, like stuck with it as my sole foundation. My skin has actually gotten better. I've talked about that years ago. That is like one of the foundations that I feel like has actually helped my skin in the past. Now it's hard for me to stick with the foundation that much because I'm doing things like this. <laughs> Sponge side works too. I feel like I got about the same coverage. For me, this one doesn't look like full coverage off of one layer. It's not covering my scarring or freckles. I'm gonna try and just build this up a little bit since I already have some out here and I'm gonna use the brush to do that. I do like how it applied better with the brush. I feel like the finish looks about the same, but a little bit better on the brush side. So I'm gonna build this up just on spots I need it. And you can build the CC cream up to full coverage. I was kind of expecting this one to be a little bit more full coverage off the go. This side is looking like a little bit more textured or something. Okay, so I just added a tiny bit right in this area and it still hasn't totally covered all this, so I don't think I would call this one full coverage. It did build a bit, but if you're going into this thinking this is like ultra full coverage, it's not. I would say it's about the same coverage as the CC cream. That's a little bit disappointing because that's basically the differentiating factor here. I almost feel like this one builds a little bit better. Like I can get this one to total full coverage. This one, I mean, I can still see stuff. I don't not like how it looks. I actually think it looks really nice on the skin. Again, very similar to this. I'm actually not seeing like a huge difference difference between the two. This one is very dewy. We'll see if it gets a little bit less dewy as it sets, but the finish, yeah, it feels very similar to that one too. Has like a tacky finish. This one, when I had oily skin, I would definitely have to set. Now that I have dry skin, I don't set it. And that's what I'm gonna do with this one as well, is just set this part. It is looking a little bit almost like too dewy, oily around my nose area, so I might set a little bit right there too. But typically on my dry skin now, when I do that, it looks too cakey right there. We'll see. We'll see how it sets down. If you already have this product at this point, I don't feel like you really need this one, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. This one might hold up better, but the shade is looking good. Yeah, I like the shade of it. It looks really nice on my skin. It's not clinging anywhere even around. I have major dryness right here and a little bit on this side and it's not clinging at all right there. So right now it's 719. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, drink some coffee, and I'll be right back. It's now 7.55, we're gonna call check in time 7.30 since that's when I finished up with my face. I just did super basic makeup because I'm about to go to a brunch breakfast thing. I feel like I'm already crashing, it's not even eight. <laughs> I have kind of mixed feelings right now. My forehead, it's not even that it looks too dewy, it's just not, it's almost making me look like older or something. It just looks like it's kind of sitting on top of my skin. Down here where I powdered, it looks fine. It looks a little bit heavy. I got a clip in natural lighting so you guys can see, and I did see when I looked really in depth and was like staring at my forehead, I did see a couple specks of glitter as I was moving my head. We have sun out today, so that's a rarity. Maybe that's why I don't usually see the glitter. But directly in the sunlight, I could see like literally two specks of glitter. That doesn't bother me at all because I really don't think you would notice it unless you were staring at your forehead. There's something about this that I'm not liking right now. It just kind of surprised me. Like, I don't know. It just looks like it's already separating on my forehead. I'm kind of debating whether I want to set my forehead or not, but I think I am because I don't like it how it is right now and I wouldn't wear it how it is right now. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just using my same Laura Geller Balance and Brighten powder. This was on Hot Look the other day for like 18 bucks. So I just bought it back up because I'm already hitting pan on this. I'm not gonna do right on the center. I'm just doing where it looks extra shitty, which is up here. From far away, it looks better. Let me look up close. Okay, there we go. Definitely a bit better. I took a flash test before I just powdered my face. So I'm gonna insert that right here. Definitely a flashback. There was SPF 50 in this product, so kind of expected. Wouldn't wear this for flash photography. It also gave quite a bit of shine right on the center of my forehead. Right now I'm kind of indifferent to this one, but right now I'm thinking if you have this, you probably don't need the other one. So on the rest of my face, not that anyone probably cares because it's very basic, but I use the Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. I use the Butter Blush also by Physicians Formula in the shade Vintage Rouge. Whenever I use these two products together, like their Butter Bronzer and their Blush, Everything just blends so easily. You smell like coconuts. It's a good start to the day. I use the new NARS highlighter again, but in the shade Albatross this time. Oh, 
why'd they use the same shade name? Very pretty if you like a yellow toned white shade as a highlighter. What else did I use? My lips were boring. I used like the same thing I've been using. I used L'Oreal Tongue Tied with the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in Tease. And that's, oh, and then eyeliner, I just smudged the L'Oreal Infallible, this brown shade in brown. I just smudged that on the top and bottom, put it on my waterline, and then popped on my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and that's all that's on my eyes. I almost put on false lashes again today, the half ones, because did anyone notice I actually kept those on all day yesterday throughout the video? I think that might be the first wear test video I've done where I actually kept my lashes on the entire day. We'll see how this holds up throughout the day. Next check and I do will be in natural lighting, so I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, so I just got home. It's two o'clock, so it's been on for about six and a half hours. So it looks good. It looks like a satin finish at this point. I don't think I look too shiny on the forehead. That This is like a good amount of radiant to me. I feel like without a powder, it looks like greasy just a bit too dewy so i'm getting creasing right here i was just doing a lot of talking smiling so it did settle in right there not bad on my upper lip as far as creasing and then here's the center of my forehead my forehead looks pretty good i think i am gonna go work out but i'm just gonna walk on the treadmill for like an hour so i'm not gonna be like majorly breaking a sweat i just drank so much dr pepper so i'm like wired right now so i'll see you guys at the end of the night all right so it's 6 30 so it's now been on for 11 hours i did work out but i just did a casual stroll no sweat happened watched a good episode of bloodline which by the way took them like 12 episodes for it to finally get good but now it's now it's turning into an actual show. Nothing looks bad. I just look hella dry and a tad heavier than what I like. I'm in kind of a predicament with this one because I feel like if I didn't set it, it would be so greasy looking, which is a lot to say on dry skin because I find that that's pretty hard. So if you have anything other than dry skin, this is very, very, very dewy. Even if you do have dry skin, it to me looked a little bit borderline too greasy, hence why we powdered. But then now I feel like my face feels and looks really dry. So this probably would be kind of a mixing one for me. I don't see myself really wearing this one again. I think what I would do with something like this is mix in like a couple drops of the Catrice Liquid Coverage Drop Foundation, which I've been loving. If you want a matte foundation but you have dry skin, just mix in a couple drops of that with something else. So something like that is how I would probably wear this one. If you have the It Cosmetics CC Illumination, I definitely don't think you need to get the Bye Bye Foundation. And I'm a dewy person. Like I love a good dewy foundation. It's just a little much. This is why I do kind of a follow up. The wrap up video where I'm going to try it in different ways and then you'll see my final ranking and that's where I'll tell you how I did wear it but I am going to try the Catrice thing. I also might like it with a powder but then with a ton of dewy setting spray over top to just add that moisture back in. Feels weird wrapping up a foundation video so early in the night. Still have the whole night to do stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed day five. If you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe uploading every single day 6 p.m. Pacific time. Hope you guys thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.